Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my Nexus 9 running the Android N developer preview and there's actually a hidden free form window mode to help with multitasking. Now this windowed mode is disabled by default, however I have enabled it on mine. There's also a split screen mode which I've already made a video on. I'll link to that to the in the description if you want to check that split screen mode out. Now let's talk about free form windows. So here's the calculator, you'll see an icon next to that X. I'm going to tap on it and it's going to open up the app in the free form window mode. So here we go. Um, you can resize it. You can grab the right side you can grab the bottom here or the corner and resize it as well. So that's just with one app open. Now, if we press recent apps again, that one open app will go to the top and show your other recent apps. So let's go to YouTube and open it in free form window mode. And then I'm going to re and then I'm going to resize that. And now if I press the recent apps again, it's going to show both of the apps that are free form up top and I can swipe them away. I can press the X. I can swipe them away to close out of them, get rid of them in that free form window mode. But now I want to go ahead and go into YouTube. Let's move it over. So the calculator is over to the right. You see, you can switch between the apps pretty simultaneously, pretty easily. Now I'm going to try and watch a video. However, like I said, it doesn't work very well in terms of when it's playing this video and I close out of it, it's going to stop the video right away. Um, it doesn't multitask very well. The RAM management is not very good because, of course, it's a developer preview and also that it's not fully optimized yet for this freeform window mode. So we can skip the ad, show it off. I can move it around, though, while the video is playing. I can also resize it while the video is playing and it's going to stop it as well. So like I said, the RAM management needs to be a little bit better. But overall, it's really nice that it includes this feature. So we can go ahead and swipe away one of the apps. Um, if you press this button, it's going to open it up, and then this button will open it up in full screen mode as well. To get back into that windowed mode, you really need to go into here. Now, if you open up an app while you're in this windowed mode, so let's go into settings, it's going to pop it open already in the windowed mode. So it already knows you're in it, and then, of course, you can go ahead and resize. Now, I think this is going to be more beneficial for tablets or very larger screen phones. However, you never know. You might like it on your smaller screen device. It's it's just nice that they're coming up with windowed modes just to make multitasking even better on Android because I think that's what's lacking behind other operating systems such as Windows. But anyways, that's the freeform windowed mode that's disabled by default on the Android N developer preview. Figured I'd show it off and you'll see going into Google Play, switching between settings, switching between this. It works pretty well. However, more intensive things such as Chrome, YouTube don't multitask very well. So overall, just a little nice tidbit of information, especially knowing that this could be coming to uh, vanilla Android stock Android very soon. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, click that like button. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. A lot more to come on the Android N builds in the future. And thanks for watching, guys.